And yes, that is it. Let us know what your predictions are for the UEFA Champions League finals between Liverpool and Real Madrid. There will be a 5,000 Naira giveaway for whomever predicts the scores correctly. You have to predict the exact scores at the end of the I game. I was noted I was the first person that said 3 2. So. <laughs> <laughs>What is up, beautiful people? Before we start to feel sad about the end of club football for this season, we have the UEFA Champions League finals to look forward to. Yes, Liverpool and Real Madrid yes, are sir. battling it out on Saturday, the 28th of May. Fam, it is going to be explosive. Yeah, huge game in the Champions League. Liverpool versus Real Madrid. Six-time winners versus, what, 13-time winners. And two of the most successful clubs in competition. Both have the heritage. Both have the comeback gene. Yep. <laughs> What's going to happen? Who's going to outdo each other? Definitely. But Liverpool seems to be the one that has, you know, the, you know, the more to prove, so to speak. Having mm -hmm. gone far for, you know, the quadruple chase and they lost the, <laughs> they lost the Premier League mm -hmm. on the final day. And now, they'll be facing a Real Madrid side that looks very beatable, in my opinion. They do, they do. Like, I saw things when they played against Chelsea. They considered three against Chelsea in one leg. City had to really fumble the bag to lose that game. But they're in the final because they're Real Madrid. So they're Real Madrid. And there's a certain Benzema. There's a certain... They have the, the best guy in the world at the moment. At the moment. And I, I think he should win the Ballon d'Or regardless of what happens in the final. Yeah, that was where I was going to take the conversation to right, you know, right after talking about the UEFA Champions League fixture, you know, the final game. But I think there's still some more discuss the fixture. Like, there's, um, there's a lot of injury news coming into this game. I mean, Van Dijk didn't play in the last game. Fabinho didn't play in the last game. Mm -hmm. Salah came in off the bench. Thiago yep. went off injured. So a lot of the reasons why I thought Liverpool would be favourites are looking a little wonky now because that midfield battle, Real Madrid's midfield, is, I think that's where they're strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it looks like... But, but I know that Real, uh, Real Madrid will have a lot on their hands with Liverpool's uh, strike, you yeah, know, striking will. partnership, and we have the regardless defense, of what happens. So, seems to have the better the midfield is... But without Van Dijk, no, he will play. Still he, play. he said he will play, he said he will be mm. fit, and he was on the bench in the last league game, mm -hmm. so he should be fit to play. Yeah, so any, anything can happen. Let's see what happens in the next couple of hours. Let's see whether there's mm -hmm. any, you know, updates on that front. But it promises to be interesting still. The midfield battle looks like it will be won by Real Madrid with the likes of Thiago, you and know, Fabinho not, and Fabinho missing. not, you know, miss, uh, not, not playing in this one. But let us still see. We don't know what can happen still in the next the couple Real of Madrid hours. Front, um, Alaba, who was injured, came back into the side. Mm -hmm. Apparently might be injured again, so they might, in a defence that I already thought Liverpool could get at. Mm -hmm. Now they're losing probably the best player in that back four, mm -hmm. so yeah, that could be something mm -hmm. to look out for as well. But of course, Mane, Luis Diaz and Salah will expect to play as the top three partnership mm -hmm. for Liverpool. If and Diaz can sort out his finishing. But wow. bro, I, I, so this is the thing, right? If we're going to now talk about personal uh, ambitions and personal, you know, preferences, mm -hmm. I want Real Madrid to win. And I think shock. So <laughs> I want Real Madrid to win, but it looks like you know predictions. I think Liverpool is going to take it. I, I don't want Liverpool to win, you know, a treble mm. this season. Mm. But mm. looks well, like it was Liverpool almost a quadruple. It. You should be happy if you just win treble <laughs> and go out our way. Because if you won the quadruple, mm. I never have come back to the show. So quick one. What's your what's your what's your prediction? My prediction. I'm going to go for this is obviously filled with bias, but mm. I'm going to go for a three. Two Liverpool win. Three two Liverpool win from Shopsy. And let us know what your predictions are in the comment section. What's your below. prediction now? You I already said it now. So who's gonna scores now? Okay, scores. Uh, I think it'll actually go into extra time, funny how, but it will mm. be a big score. All our finals game. have gone to exactly 120. gone into so 120. In the 120 exactly. Yeah. So I expect that it to go into the extra into extra time and it will be a big scoring game. Mm. Three all and then be decided either in extra time or in penalties. Van Dijk consists three goals. I'm going to plug that. That's allowed in those two Yo, because Benzema. I mean, it's Benzema. Up. Yeah, that's why you can know. have these two goals. And so Vinny can link and up. And a certain Vinicius who's actually who's firing. Goals, but Van Dijk leaked three goals. And in don't forget Ancelotti's um, subs, subs uh, you know, magic. Mm -hmm. 17 minutes into the yeah, game. Yeah, I think it's it important for Liverpool to make sure the game doesn't get nervy. So. Mm. But and that's why I felt like we had Thiago, we could have controlled the game and just been the better team on night and won the game. But now that we lose that control in midfield, it's, it's integral that we don't let this game get to like the 80th mm -hmm. minute and Madrid still have a chance because mm -hmm. that's when all these magical things start happening. So yeah, we need to 
scared the early goal. And yeah, yeah, but of course, do not we, we can't we cannot say for sure whether Thiago will not play in that game yeah. just yet. Anything can happen. I mean, it's still mm. a couple of hours to the game out to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that is it. Let us know what your predictions are for the UEFA Champions League finals between Liverpool and Real Madrid. There will be a 5,000 Naira giveaway for whomever predicts the scores correctly. You have to predict the exact scores at the end of the I game. I noted I was the first person that said 3 2. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I said 3 3 because uh, my heart is still in the next If I take the 5K, you know, <laughs> all, all's fair, all's fair, all's fair. So, yes, let us know what you think in the comment sections below. Moving on from the Champions League. Uh, finals, we have a couple of interesting names that are out of contract already at the end of the 2021-2022 season. The likes of Diabala, the likes of Paul Pogba, who's been linked with PSG and co. Jesse Lingard also of Manchester United. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hearing West Ham um, are yeah, trying to, you know, too. you know, to get him. Giorgio Cialini, <laughs> legend of the game, he probably is going to retire. Yeah. Or, maybe or maybe MLS go to or MLS. Or and we also have Insigne. Insigne is also confirmed to go to the MLS. And Lewandowski. Lewandowski that's the most interesting one for me. One. Lewandowski is a huge one. Um, I'm really curious uh, where he's going to go. We're hearing Barcelona. Back. Yeah, ba Barca is the most heavily linked, but it just doesn't look feel like the right fit for me. I feel like maybe mm. he's going to be using it to get a bigger payday from Bayern Munich. From Bayern Munich, Munich Barca yes. have a Barca, have a Barca, have a Barca, maybe they'll move a Barca. They have a Barca, they have Barca, they have they have... So, I mean, it's interesting to see, and I wonder if Barcelona, like, I thought Barcelona had overcome this uh, bad habits of just signing players that, yeah, because the name looks good, Coutinho, mm -hmm. Vidal, mm -hmm. and Memphis the pay, blah, 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 just throwing money at them. They're building a young project, so it's an off signing. I think Lewandowski might be playing in. But, but you know Lewandowski actually steps into any team in the world at the moment. Yeah, he does, he does, for sure. But that's the thing with Barcelona, they've signed top players in the past that you think would, like, when Coutinho left Barcelona, it was 120 million, like, mm -hmm. that's what our brains did. We thought he could play for any team in the world. So yeah, it doesn't always work out like that, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. And like, he doesn't have anything to prove again. He's what uh, yeah, three yeah, years old. Yeah, like, yeah. is that really? If Barcelona are looking to the future, should they be signing a test three year old striker? Mm. I don't know if that's the right decision. True that. That's one very interesting one to look out for. We definitely will bring you updates. I think Pogba is the very interesting one. What yeah, Pogba, Pogba is actually very interesting too. And uh, yeah, I sort of sped past mm -hmm. that. We can talk about it. Yeah. Paul Pogba definitely not going to stay at Manchester mm -hmm. United. He's going to go to you again on a free. It is looking more like France. And PSG. PSG, yes. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, because going back, I think losing Pogba again on the free is already terrible business. But on the free yeah. to the team that you lost him on the free to the first time, it just, just looks for I mean, no, not the optics. No, are, no, no, not if PSG. he goes to UV, if he goes to UV, yeah, the yes. optics are just terrible for that. But um, yeah, I'd like to see him at um, PSG, to be honest. Yeah, definitely would like to see him at PSG. You know, that link up partnership with uh, Verratti, mm -hmm. with Messi, Mbappe looks, and Mbappe staying as well, yeah. which is something that we mm -hmm. discussed in the last exactly. episode. So that's going to be very, very interesting to see, and everything looks set for him to actually excel in France. Couple with the fact that, that he's going to be playing in the Farmers League, yeah. in a Farmers League, one of the Farmers League, and yeah, it looks like a, a very good move for him if he does do that. Moving on from Paul Pogba, we also have Angel Di Maria. Who's done it all? Seen it all, done it all. Seen it all, done it all. He's won for his country. He's won the Champions League. He's won league titles in multiple places. Like you know, one next time. I think he's, he gives me MLS vibes as well. As well, right? He doesn't like stress. United calls him stress. He went to Paris. <laughs> like now, he's able to go to Paris, turn it around, go his mm. career back on track. One big trophy. He's like. Yeah, Respect but of course, age. age is no longer on his side. He's yeah. probably just going to go to a, a league where he's just yeah, going to and just fun. chill out and, and, and just, yeah, and just yeah, enjoy. Another big name on this list that we have here is Isco of Real Madrid. Mm. He had a, you know, he cried at the end of Isco that. Isco was a player I thought mm. was going right to the very top, but mm. it just never really worked out. He, he never, never was able really to cement a place in that Madrid team. Yeah. And I guess that's just... Um, and that happened to him with the Spanish team as well, coming yeah. up around the Xavi's and Niestas and those ones staying around a little longer, taking into his peak. Modric staying so good till 35, like, yeah, it just couldn't really work yeah. out. So I, I guess you, you, you would say no he was more a victim of circumstance. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, he was a good know. player. And then he obviously did up himself. Like, and also a victim of a ambition of because he could have moved on from Real Madrid when he mm -hmm. saw that he wasn't getting into that team. And then yeah. maybe if he played in 
let's see the EPL, for, for instance. Against England, he you know, years back. He could have done it. You could have, have cemented his place in 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 any Spanish national team. He was one of the best players at a young age. He was one of the best players in the world. In the under world. 20. Yes. Him and Thiago were the one year that twenty World Cup were the best players at the tournament. They look like the next Xavi and Iniesta. Bro. Yeah. I'm just think quite well. Yeah, yeah. But we do not know where exactly Isco will be going at the moment. But when we get that update, we definitely will feed you back. And the last name on this list, a very, very interesting one, Divock Origi, hands down the best super sub of any club anywhere in the world over the past couple of, year, of, of years. Um, he had a very, very interesting uh, career at Liverpool. Yeah, Divock Origi has a, he has a very dear place in my heart as a Liverpool fan, obviously. The moments are countless, derbies, late Premier League goals, Champions League semi-final goals, Champions League final goals. Goals when they mattered most, and when we thought, yeah, now we're just doing the kitchen sink at this team. Right. It always happened to be Origi. Origi, so yeah. The Origi was the that, kitchen sink. Yeah, exactly. Origi is the kitchen sink. <laughs> the knack to do that time and right. time again, and just to keep his mentality up, keep his trace up, because he knew he was never going to start ahead of Firmino, Salah, Mane, Luis mm. Diaz came in, Jota came in, they went above him, but he just stayed motivated. He never unsettled. Never the unsettled side. the side, and that's why he got the um, send off that he got. Yo, he massive, left. massive send off. Massive left. send off. You know, everybody came. Everybody got just happy for up. the guy, and he's moving on. He's moving on to a very, very good team, and I definitely wish him the best of luck. Yeah, current Syria champions, and yes, the great team gets games of the season. Yes, he can yes, get yes. playing thirty eight games in a season. I mean, of course, I mean, the likes of Ibrahimovic are, you know, at yeah, the end of their yeah. career in a similar, and even Giroud. And look, with the numbers Tammy Abraham is doing in that league, you know, yeah, I can, I can eat them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's a very good place to put a pin on it, and it was a very, very interesting episode. Thank you guys for joining us. Do not forget, we have a 5,000 Naira giveaway for you if you predict the score of the Liverpool and Real Madrid Champions League finals correctly. Drop your comments in the comment sections below, anywhere you're watching this, leave on, on, on YouTube, on Instagram, anywhere. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Ciao.